This is Wilson Morales from Black Women TV talking to Tristan J. Winger on his role on So Help Me Todd, which is currently playing on CBS. How's it going? Fantastic. Everything's going well. How about yourself? Good. You know, the show has taken off, you know, during its first season on CBS Network, um, which is a good thing because you never know with TV these days. You don't know what's going to make it or what's not. So, you know, talk to me for anybody who hasn't watched the show so far because we're, air, we're near the end of season one. In a quick yeah. nutshell, what's the show about and what's the role you play? In a quick nutshell, so Help Me Tide is about, um, is, it's a mother and son duo. Um, uh, Margaret, who is a lawyer uh, and may, maybe even a partner at a law firm uh, played by Marcia Gay Harden and her son, who is a private investigator who lost his license, who's trying to work with his mom to get his license back. And that's played by Skylar Aston. Um, he's a private investigator, but I play uh, Lyle Burton, who is the private investigator at this law firm. I've got my license. He's on He's on his stuff. Like he's crossing every T, dotting every I, and then doubling back and tripling back to make sure that he's he's got everything in place. And so when Todd comes into the office because of, let's face it, nepotism, because he ain't got his license, he don't belong in this office. Um, he bumps heads all season long, bumpy heads, because Todd is just unprofessional and he's a man child. But Lau has to admit at some point that he is good at his job, even if it's unorthodox. So we get to do that all season long. I've been having a good time playing with Skylar and Marsha. And you've got a big arc coming up, you know, without spoiling anything, how much do we get to see of you? Without spoiling anything? Um, <laughs> We get to see uh, a lot of Lyle. We get to see another side of him that we don't get to see often on the show. And it's purposeful. You know, it's a slow burn. The show is a slow burn. We, you know, we're doing 20 some odd episodes this season. We, we're going to do a bunch of episodes next season as well. So we can't do everything up front. Like we can't just see all sides of Lyle immediately on the show because then it's like, how are we going to get people to want to tune in and want to care for this character. So we're going to see a very different and might even say a, a softer side of Lyle um, before the season ends. So the show has been renewed for a second season, right? Yes, sir. And that's good because that's job stability. It gives time now for the writers and the producers to flesh out more of the characters, including yourself. Sometimes, you know, when you get to a first season, People don't tend to watch right away because they don't, you know, they don't want to get heavily invested. And then you find out it's canceled and it's like, wow. But when there's a season two and CBS is, is a good network because they renew a good percentage of their shows, you know, yeah. so they have the belief in the audience that, you know, once you put it on, you know, it's going to last. They, they know their demographics and it works well for them. And for you, you know, you've been on other series before, but how comforting is it knowing that you're on a show where you get to do 20 episodes as opposed to like, uh, as opposed to like 10 or, or five, it's limited. Yeah, it's very comforting. It's, it's a different space for sure because it's network television. Um, the, the things I've done before have been for BT, HBO. So, you know, cable shows or premium cable shows, um, shorter seasons, um, quality stories that doesn't change the quality just because we have fewer episodes. Um, and with CBS, you know, CBS is the leader in network television. So, I mean, there's quality and there's a faithful audience. Um, and so it's just, it feels good. It feels good to, to be here, to be on this network that's so supportive of the show and of me. Um, because they've been seeing our show's praises as well as my own praises. So I just feel, I feel humbled and extremely grateful. And I feel like I belong here. As well. Now, was this a show that you, tr that they came after you for, or do you, or do you audition for? I definitely auditioned for the show. Um, and I remember it was, you know, everything these days is self tape, which I don't mind at all because I, <laughs> I get to like look at my tape and I'm like, no, nah, I didn't like that tape. My arm is doing something funny and so i could just do it again without you know my arm looking funny or whatever is going in going on i flood a line something like that so i um, did the self tape and it i submitted it on like a monday morning um by wednesday my reps let me know that i was pinned by thursday my reps let me know that they were going to do a um like a chemistry not a chemistry but like a um a studio studio session and a network session and then by friday they let me know that i don't have to do anything they're just going to watch the tape again and then by the following tuesday they let me know that i booked it so it was an incredible 
path to this role of Lyle. Um, very what would you say is the difference between obviously shooting a network series when you know you're doing 20 episodes compared to Insecure where you're only getting six to eight episodes? I mean, the big difference here is that with first we shot the pilot back in March of last year, and then we got picked up for the season in May on my birthday. I, we got picked up for a season on my birthday last year. And then, so that was a specific amount of episodes. And then in October, after a few episodes had shown on CBS, then they picked us up for a full season. So we didn't know we were doing 20 some odd episodes immediately. It was just, okay, there's a, we're doing this set amount of episodes. It's like, okay, great, let's do the best work possible. So that even with those specific, that set amount of episodes that we got at first, that was still more than like an Insecure or with a bigger on BET. Um, and also different from an Insecure because I wasn't in, in every episode on, on Insecure but I wasn't every episode on bigger. It's just, it's just the difference is just the different character. And also knowing that, you know, on a network, on a national network platform like CBS, you're, you know, your viewership is much, much higher. So um, it's a lot more broad versus the specificity that we get with secure or bigger. Having worked on different shows, different directors, different writers and producers, what do you, you know, actors can never stop learning. What are you learning so far on this particular show, skill set wise, that helps you improve each time you're on, you know, when you're called in or when you go on to your next project? Yeah, every set is, every set is different. Um, and with this one in particular, I mean, it, it's all about collaboration at the end of the day. All of these sets working on any project. It's all about collaboration, how you collaborate with your fellow actors, how you collaborate with the director, how you collaborate with the um, the camera operators and directors of photography. So, you know, it's just learning that the show has a specific look, what they want for, for you know, their show is something very specific as well as like the tone. The tone is very set. So sometimes I may want to play something that is <laughs> different than the tone of the show. And then I'll have to reel it back in or just get like a note to be like, okay, cool, let's try this and do something a little bit different. Let's get you more into, you know, the more serious side of Lyle. So mm -hmm. it's fun. so a different different way to collaborate. Even though the show's been renewed, and which is a great, um, it's still a battle to get an audience. You know, I think now because of streaming services and cable and network, there's a, there's a glut of shows out there. You know, back in the day, the show ended, you know, come May, you know, we'd have the, the summer seasons of reruns. That's not the case anymore. The minute the show ends, whether it be six episodes, 20 episodes, there's something new right away to fill in its, you know, to fill in its time slot. So it's like things can be quickly forgotten. What do you think is going to get an audience to watch, start watching a show, even though it's been on, and it's about to end, but we know we're coming back, you know, that, you know, that hopefully if they're watching this interview, it's going to say, okay, let me go check this out. I mean, and I think you, you said exactly what I was thinking. Platforms like this where, where I get to be interviewed and speak to you and have people who may not know who I am or have known me for other projects um, realize that, oh, he's on another show. And, oh, that was him. I've been watching him this whole time. Or people who are fans of my work who, or who support me um, and want to watch something that I'm in just so they can support me even more. That's going to make people want to tune in. But also just... Um, especially with a network like CBS. I mean, our lead in was Young Sheldon and Gopes, mm -hmm. two of the you know most watched shows on network television. And then we get to follow those and come in. And so, um, you know, with that combined with people who want to support me and also who are watching this interview who may not know my work, um, this is how we get people to watch our show. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, is there anything else you're working on besides the show that we're gonna see you on? Um, let's see. I don't know if it's public knowledge, but, uh, so next month there's a movie coming out that I'm in. Um, I've got a nice cameo in it. Um, <laughs> now, I think that's all I can say for now. Are you giving us riddles? You know, this next, you know, any, it could be any movie, you know, is it a big movie? Is it going to be in theaters? Is it going to be on VOD? You know, it's going to be, you know, you say, when you say cameo, it's not like, are you even on IMDb? <laughs> It might be, I haven't checked yet, but it, it might be on IMDb. They've been doing screenings. It's on Hulu. It's going to be on Hulu. Um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, Tristan, uh, you know, it's it's good that you're on the show. Obviously, second season is great. You know, stability, you know, more that we'll get to see of your character, Lyle. 
you know, just keep having fun. Uh, it's a pleasure to speak with you so we can get you on record so that way we know that there's a, hey, there's a brother on the show. You know, sometimes yes. people watch people won't watch your show or if there's no brothers, you know, you still get those complaints. I ain't never watch friends. <laughs> you know, it's like so it. It, these days you gotta have well, at least you know, you'd like to have somebody, uh, you know, person of color in there to bring in a different diverse audience, you know. Yeah. So not that you matter, but if the role's right and the actor is right, then it makes sense. So congratulations yeah. on the role. Congratulations. Hey, you've been on you've been on TV for some time, so keep it going. We're here to support whatever you do, wherever you're at. Take care and stay safe. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right.